Let's go to the kitchen now. Today we're making bread. I'm going to use a recipe called Kafka na Praia, an altered version of that. All right, first thing you need to have to make bread is yeast. Okay, I've got 10 grams of instant or dried yeast, and I'm going to put one and a half cups of warm, uh, maybe a little hot to the touch, but not scalding water. Uh, put the yeast in the bowl, and then add one and a half cups of hot water. Mix it up a little bit so it can disintegrate quicker. After that, add a little less than a half a cup of brown sugar, the two eggs, and try not to get any shells in there. If you do, just pick them out. But don't worry too much, it just adds texture. Add about one cup of flour, and I'm adding half a cup of wheat germ, or what I think is wheat germ. One and a half tablespoons of margarine. One and a half teaspoons of salt. And just start mixing. You can also put this in a, a blender and mix it in a blender for about three, five, three to five minutes. Okay, after you have it all down to liquid, well, or smooth, Put about uh, five, or I'm sorry, four and a half more cups of flour. So you should have about five and a half cups of flour and a half a cup of wheat germ, or six cups of flour. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five and a half. And have a little extra flour standing by because this may not. Oh, that may not do it. Now I'm starting with the whisk because that's just the way I do it. I'm going to have to pick out some stuff in the middle of the whisk once I get it all. But sooner or later you're going to be using your hands. Or I'm going to be using my hands. And remove all this stuff from the middle of the whisk. See? No more whisk. I'm going to use my hands. Just keep throwing the flour in there. And it's gonna stick all to you. Ooh, yeah. Ebola. I'll hold my camera. <laughs> Wash my hands. Put some food on my hands. And just shove it into itself, try to get all the flour. Okay, if it's, if it's still kind of sticky, or still sticking to you, now if you wash your hands, make sure you dry them, but if it's still kind of sticking to you, then you need more flour. But it seems like this is enough flour for this. Probably too much flour, don't know. Okay. I'm going to cut this in half so it's a little smaller. Okay, and I have two halves. Oh, okay, before I get to that, let me go ahead and grease this pan. I need a decent sized pan. I'm just going to put some oil around with a paper towel. And that's as grease is going to get for me. Oh shit, it's not oil. What is that? It's oil, but always bad. Oil with pepper? Will that will that work okay with the bread? No. Okay, now wash the pan. Okay, this time put vegetable oil with no peppers in it. Okay, now we got a grease pan that doesn't smell like peppers. Okay, take one of them. Spank in the baby. Spank in the baby. Kind of round, sort of looking. Put it on one side. And put it on the other side. Remove everything from the oven. Just sit it in the oven and let it rise there. Let it rise for about uh, 30 minutes. And clean up shit while it's rising. Okay, after about 30 minutes, let's check on it. It should have been about double in size. Light the oven at about 240. After letting it heat up for about a minute or two, 
Go ahead and stick it in there and let it cook for about 30 minutes. Okay, turn off the stove. A general rule is if it's almost burning, then you probably should pull it out. It's been a little over 30 minutes, but I but I had it on a higher temperature, so let's try it. Uh, it's a little raw. I'm gonna stick it back in there. Okay, let's try this again. They are definitely well cooked. Don't forget to turn off the oven. What do you think? What? That's good? Yeah, it is quite a bit different. I replaced your regular bread with new diet bread. Actually, this one sucks compared to the other one. Two eggs and duct tape. First, you need a kitchen. One good way to find one is to find someone with a house. That's where the duct tape comes in.